and crashed. A lot of black smoke. It was just the whole house was filled with it. We just heard like a really loud boom and the ground kind of shook and we didn't really think anything of it, but then we could like smell the fuel in the air. We had a lot of people running around in the neighborhood, uh, a lot of panic uh, from the neighbors. Uh, we kind of go on to autopilot. We had a job to do. The house that had gotten struck, we pretty well wrote it off. It was totally involved in fire in the uh, roof and attic area. So we immediately went to stop the fire from spreading to any other houses, which we had three other houses damaged, but we were able to stop it and limit that damage. Firefighters did an excellent job, Columbus Fire Department did an excellent job of getting there on the scene uh, and containing that, uh, the fire to one residence. There was some damage to the, to the house to the east and west um, just because of the intense heat, but the main residence was the only one that really got the bulk of the, bulk of the damage. did have smoke damage on the inside. We um, Service Pro cleaned the house, got all the smoke damage away. It's going to have to be repainted. The um, duct work's going to have to be cleaned out. Um, our air conditioner vent is right on the side that the fire was on, so it sucked in all the smoke. That's how we obtained the smoke damage. The siding will have to be replaced. The fence and the roof, they um, it's still all up in the air with insurance, so um, that'll get fixed someday. Um, as far as anything else, um, we just feel really sorry for the families that were involved and the uh, loss of the pilot. How it affected um, the family now is uh, it's just a constant uh, ongoing aggravation of just cars. It's hard to get out of our driveway some days because there are cars backed up to look at the house. Whenever I would see another person going down the street, it just really disappointed me because I thought that more people would have more respect for us and the lady that lived there. The main thing that we wanted to do, one, is, is treat the individuals that, that were injured. And the neighbors there in that area did an excellent job in doing that uh, prior to us getting there. Uh, once we get everybody accounted for and we start treating them, then obviously we need to focus on saving property if we can and securing the scene the best we can. So as soon as we had everybody accounted for, we, uh, the other officers showed that we talked about setting up the perimeter and setting up tapes so that we kept people away from the actual scene. We had to have a police officer watch us every day just to make sure that anyone that came by wouldn't come and try to take anything. 